Are you losing too many matches that you should be winning? Maybe because you're not playing the smartest tennis? Well, we've got a tip. James McGee and I, Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP pro, we've got a tip that's gonna help you play smarter tennis and it actually comes straight from the pro tour because James has played pro tennis for 10 years. He got to top 150 in the world. He's played Davis Cup for Ireland and we were together in 2014 when he qualified for the US Open. It was an honor to be with him there. It's an honor to be uh, James's friend and uh, coach and mentor at times. And thanks for joining us today on this edition of Single Strategy Secrets. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, so James, uh, you played a young gentleman from Korea who was burst on the scene by the name of Chung. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his first name. I'm gonna leave that to you. But James wants to reveal a tip, uh, a strategy that Chung used against him in the finals of a challenger uh, that you can use, that you're probably not using. So James, take it away. Tell us a little bit about this. Give us a framework of the story and uh, the strategy. Okay. Uh, well, I played Chung uh, twice. I played him twice, um, once in 2012 at a Futures in Indonesia and uh, in 2015 in the final of a challenger in Savannah, Georgia in the US. And he was obviously on the rise uh, back then, and we see now what he's done beating Djokovic in the uh, se in making the quarterfinals or sorry semifinals of the of the Australian Open. Um, but one of the things that really stood out to me when I when I played him the second time um, was his ability to defend. And I think we all know he's one of the best defenders in the world, and 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 he's, he's obviously very physical. But what really stood out to me when I uh, competed against him was his understanding of his own game. Um, I remember playing him and feeling that he never m made a poor shot selection. He never chose the wrong shot. He always chose the right thing. And I think over the course of a match, knowing that your opponent is, for every single ball, is making the right shot, it puts you under pressure because you know that you can't make any f foolish decisions. And so I remember, for example, when I would put him in a defensive position, instead of, and this was on a clay court, by the way, but instead of maybe... Um, going for a shot that he, he wasn't capable of or going for a winner, you know, sometimes when you're out of the court, he had this ability to, to defend well through the middle, very deep, um, sort of middle cross. And, and, and that really, over the course of the match, I felt like um, it was a really effective strategy against me and I've seen him use it effectively against other players. Um, so that was really good from him. So James brings up a great point. When you're playing defense and you have to be able to play offense and defense to be a, a great tennis player, but when you're playing defense and you're out wide, you're in the corners, you're far behind the baseline, you want to practice playing high down the middle. Don't try to go down the line. Don't try to go for the hero shot or the ESPN shot. Play high, high down the middle, right? That ESPN shot, you can do it once, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna work every time. But know that you, when you run over to the corner, just play it high and deep. And I even have my students try to miss long because most often players miss in the net or they miss short. It's rare that you're running wide that you're going to miss long uh, when you're when you're dealing with that uh, defensive shot. So James, do you have anything else to add to that? Just just making sure he had height on height on his shot, height over the net. Obviously, if he's playing through the middle, but he's hitting it this high over the net, well then I can just step in and use my forehand or take control of the point. But the real difference was the fact that he went middle and it was deep and there was plenty of height on the ball. So I think uh, that's really what I'd like to add to it. Yeah, and knowing your game, you know, knowing that when you are wide, you play high down the middle and you're gonna reset and start over. And, and obviously Chung has the athleticism to be able to do this, but you know what? You can think like this too. You know, instead of bailing out and going for too much or thinking about your technique, focus on your strategy and playing the right shot. Think about your shot selection a little bit more. Become more disciplined with it. You're gonna to start to win more matches. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I've got something special for you. I actually have a free gift. And James is in on this free gift because he believes that if you play smart tennis, you can get to the next level. And what this gift is, is I'm gonna reveal three myths that 99% of most tennis players are making when it comes to single strategy. And the way you're gonna get that gift is you're gonna click the link in the description below to sign up to get to learn those three myths along with the solutions. Cause I'm all about solutions, helping players play smarter tennis. So you can click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment for us below. We'd love to help you out with your tennis. Thanks so much for joining us today. Again, click the link in the description to learn the three myths that you're probably making with your single strategy. Thanks so much for your time today. James and I will see you at the next video.